Hello, my name is Matt Perland. I'm an English teacher living and working in Poland. This is a recording of a free lesson that I delivered recently on edufire.com. We're using material from the Talkalot free spoken English course, which is available to download free from www.englishbanana.com forward slash talkalot. If you'd like to attend the next Talkalot lesson, please visit www.edufire.com forward slash English banana to find out the date and time. And I hope you'll be able to join us then. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to read a little bit and then um, I will ask you to join in, help me with the lesson. So, um, if you have any question, please feel free to type in the box and that will be fine. So, um, we're looking today at spelling and sounds. We've already looked at consonant clusters. Um, that was last week and that's where uh, two or more consonant letters appear together in the in a word. So can you give me an example of a consonant cluster? Anybody just type in the box. GH, okay, together. Brilliant. So in brilliant there are three consonant clusters that we looked at. Angela got TH. Yeah, so it's two two or more consonants together in the word. Okay, and of course TH can have uh, several different sounds. Uh, it can be th, like thick, th, like this, or even t, like Thomas. Bridget sang ch, so it could be ch, like cheese, or ache, can be hard k. Yeah. So consonant clusters, okay. Uh, today we're going to look at vowel clusters, so as you can imagine, that means more than one vowel together in a word. So um, the problem with English is that uh, spelling is not regular, it's not a phonetic language, we don't spell the same way as we uh, speak. If we did, life would be much easier for English students. Yeah. But it isn't easy. So we, we spell words differently to how they sound. Okay, it's not phonetic. And that's what we're going to look at today. So first I will just read a little bit and uh, follow in the session notes on the left side. A vowel cluster is a group of two or more vowel letters together in a word that represent a single vowel sound. So two or more vowel letters in a word that represent a single vowel sound. Okay. For example, in the word road, road, the letters O, A together is a vowel cluster that represents the sound O. Yeah. So it's two letters in the spelling but only one sound O. And another example in the word shoe, shoe, it's S H O E. The O E together is a vowel cluster that represents the sound oo. So shoe represents the sound oo. Yeah. O E together in the spelling of the word shoe. Okay. In the same way, A R in the word car 
is a vowel cluster that uses a silent R to help make the vowel sound R. So AR together makes the sound R. It's two letters in the spelling but only one sound in the phonetic alphabet. That's R. Okay, this is a big, uh, big issue because very often in English the letter R is not pronounced. It's being used to make a vowel sound. It's included in vowel clusters. So uh, students try to pronounce it um, but they shouldn't because it's, it's not being used as a consonant sound. Yeah, or to represent a consonant sound. Um, for example, in, in my country where, where I am today, it's Poland, the students speak, uh, they speak the same way as they spell. They, uh, they spell phonetically and they, they speak the same way. So when they see the word bar, bar, which in English has no R sound, they will pronounce every letter bar bar yeah so they rolling the r rolling the r because in polish this is also a word and every letter is pronounced because their language is phonetic yeah but in english it wouldn't be pronounced so um they will tell me oh bar and I'm saying no, it's not bar. It's bar without any r at the end, without the r. So this causes a lot of confusion. Of course, the spelling in English is different from the sound of English. So uh, the reason we have vowel clusters is simple. There are 23 different single vowel sounds. Uh, I've put in brackets vowel phonemes. So a phoneme is one sound. For example, R is a phoneme. So there are 23 different single vowel sounds in spoken English, but only five vowel letters. So what are the vowel letters in English? Vowel letters. Type in the box, please. What are they? 